What's going on, Hermit Nation, and welcome to Operation Evolve 2011. This is your cabin fever fitness workout. This is a leg routine you can do when you're stuck indoors. Here in New England, we get snow like crazy. This week, we got like 18 feet. And when I get crazy in the house, I gotta do something. So I'm gonna do an indoor leg routine, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. Okay, guys? So it's a really great routine. It's gonna destroy all of your legs, your quads, your glutes, your hams, your adductors, your abductors, your calves, everything, okay? The first thing we're going to do is alternating jumping lunges. We're going to do four sets of 20 reps, which is 10 per side. Okay? It's going to work on the glutes and quads. Then I'm going to start off slow. And what you're going to do is you're going to come down. If your knee touches the ground, make sure it touches lightly. You don't want to destroy your kneecaps. Then you're going to go from here. And as you come up, you're going to jump in the air as high as you can. Switch. And come down. Now notice that I'm keeping a 90 degree angle right here and a 90 degree angle with the back leg as well, okay? You want perfect form while you do this. So 10 on each side, let's do one set together. Ready? So go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, and really high. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Pretty cool, right guys? Now remember, you can make this routine as hard or as easy as you want to. Depending on how fast you go through the sets, we're doing four sets of 20 reps, so if you want to go quick, go quick. If you want to take more rest in between, take more rest. The intensity of this workout is judged by you. Alright guys, the next thing we're going to do is some calf jumps. Now the calf jumps, what you're going to do is put your feet a little bit together, okay? And you're going to work on that plant reflection, which is this. Pushing your toes right to the ground. Now, this is going to work on the gastrocnemius and the soleus. And you're going to do four sets of 100 reps. All right? So, what you're going to do is go up, down, just like this. Keep your legs straight. Don't let your knees buckle. If you want to make it a little harder, hands up over your head. Okay? And you're really going to work on that spring. So, just like this, as high as you can. It's going to destroy those calves. If you want to make it a little harder, Try and flex your body and flex your core so nothing jiggles. And breathe. You don't let your heels touch the ground. You want to go as low as you can and as high as you can. Remember, four sets of 100 reps. Go at your own pace. You want to take a 20 second break? Take a 20 second break. You want to take 10 seconds? Take 10. You want to take 30 to 60? Take 30 to 60. I'm going to do 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. Feels really good barefoot too. And if you're at home, you can be barefoot. Alright guys. The next thing I'm going to do is a single leg squat. Okay? You're going to do 10 reps per side. It's so gonna work on the glutes and the quads. I'm gonna go as low as you can, okay? I'm gonna start off on the left side. One leg out, arms in front of you, toes are straight, down as low as you can. Breathe out on the way up. One, two. This is working your balance. Four. Might be a little harder barefoot. But I like it. Six, seven, eight, breathe, nine, ten. Now again, four sets, five to ten reps, do both sides, okay guys? The next thing you're going to do is skates. And now with the skates, if you do these correctly, you got to destroy your glutes, okay? You're gonna love it. Then you can do 15 per side, so a total of 30. This is gonna work with your balance, your coordination, and you're also gonna feel it in your adductors and abductors, okay? So let's get started. Start off slow. Now, a skate is basically coming like this and trying to keep your hips and your chest and head straight as you come down. Then you come up, switch, come up to this side. See all that's going on right here? Keep your body facing straight, 
your hips facing straight, and it's gonna pull right through your glute. Okay? So start off slow, so you can figure it out, and then start going faster. Okay? And then, if you wanna make this really intense, don't let your feet touch the ground. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, and jump really far. 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15. Boom, that was fun. <laughs> Remember guys, four sets. Make it as intense as you want to make it. If that's too hard for you, you're not as advanced, you know you can't do that without touching the ground, touch the ground. It's not a problem. The next time you do it, you're going to have a lot easier time, okay? Now the next thing you're going to do is a leg curl on a ball, okay? Six sets of 15 reps. And what you're going to do is lay down and put your heels in the ball like this, okay guys? It's gonna work your glutes, your hamstrings, and it's really gonna hit your core if you do it correctly. So four sets, whew, I mean six sets of 15 reps, hips in the air, come up, stay on your heels, okay? Thrust your hips forward, come down, nice and slow, it's one, two, Flex your hamstrings, tighten up your butt on the way up, flex your abs on the way up. This might look easy, but remember, you're doing six sets of 15 reps. That's a lot. And you've already done three super hard exercises before this. Well, four super hard exercises before this. Now, if you start to slip, because your floor is a bit slippery, grab your ball, reposition yourself, and just keep going. <sighs> These floors are actually really slippery. That's why the ball went forward. <sighs> Alright guys, so six sets of 15 reps. Now the last thing you're going to do is a side lunge. And the side lunges are great. You're going to do four sets of 15 reps per side. You do one side at a time, okay? It's really gonna work the adductors, the abductors, the glutes, and the quads. Start off, feet about shoulder length apart, and then you're gonna step out to the side. As you step out, hands are in front of you, both feet are facing forward, and your feet are planted into the ground, okay? Come down, as you come down, foot is still planted and facing forward. It's not doing this, okay? Very important. Make sure your foot's planted, back foot's planted. Come forward, come back up, back to the middle, one. Out, down, back to the middle, two. Three, breathe out on the way out. Four, five. This is really gonna work on your flexibility too, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, oh yeah, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You notice every time I do it, I'm reaching farther and farther. Fourteen, oh yeah, fifteen. So that's your side lunge, guys. Now remember. Four sets of 15 reps. Go through this thing. Make it as hard and as intense as you can make it. Put on some tunes and just crank it out, okay guys? So that's your cabin fever fitness workout routine. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, more stuff coming soon. See you guys.